Klaus from the Netherlands writes to me, Hey Paul, have we taken a wrong turn as humans? Hell yes. <laughs> so many wrong turns we've gone in circles. <laughs> he says, I noticed sitting in my lazy chair that if I held my hands behind my ears, the sound, especially in the high and mid tones, sounds dramatically different, much better in fact. Are our ears too small? Does someone with sailing ears, as we name them here, hear better? Very large ears. Sailing ears? You guys in the Netherlands have some great terms. So some guy, poor guy's got big ears. They call them sailing ears? Oh my gosh. That's cruel. Um, well, first off, we tune our brains to our ears. This whole mechanism right here, mine's different than yours, but I hear the same as you hear. And if I had sailing ears, is it sailing? Is it, uh, yep, sailing ears, <laughs> then my brain and ear and that whole mess would have adjusted for all of that to be the same. So I don't think people with sailing ears have better hearing than people with little weenie ears like what I got, right? I mean, because I can hear up there with the best of them in, in uh, auditory tests. I test pretty darn good. I've listened and made a, a, a living off of my hearing and my ability to relate what I hear to electronic terms uh, for 50 years. So I don't think that is an issue. Now it is interesting, and one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up, because I, I love the idea of, of the horn, right? So when you do this, you, you know, you're amplifying frequencies very differently than you would normally have without doing the, making your fake sailing ears, right? And, and if you try it, you'll notice that you're picking up this whole narrow band much greater. And it's how all of this started. I'm, I'm sure Edison and all the, I mean, geez, for how many years uh, when people had hearing problems, you've probably seen the old pictures of it, you know, they have these horns and they'll plug it into their ear and these big acoustic horns are like, ah! and that was how they heard. And somebody looked at that and said, huh, if I took that hearing aid horn turned it around and then made sound come out of it through a vibrating membrane of some kind, then I could amplify sound. So I'm taking sounds that exist, narrowing them and funneling them down so it's louder in my ear, that's this, and then doing the opposite of that and creating sound at the little opening and have it amplify, come on, that's the whole basis of a horn. That's the whole basis of everything we do in, in high-end audio. So now there's some kind of high frequency noise coming through here. Anyway, I was about to be done, so I'll have to go investigate. Maybe uh, I'm gonna blow up here in a few seconds. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, um, yeah, so no, I don't think we've taken a wrong turn. I think that that's the natural way of things, and that's all I got to say about that. What is that noise? All right, I'm going to go check it out. Take it easy.